I want to talk about this um, guy right here, Rep. Representative Emmanuel Cleaver, as a Democrat. He was talking about a, a prayer that he did. So it's funny because he's actually, he was a minister. I'm on the Daily Wire and I'm reading that he was a minister. And I was like, what, you're a minister? Talk about this. From 1972 to 2009, he was a pastor at St. James Daddy Methodist Church. So he said a prayer yesterday. And the prayer was really interesting at the end. So he's praying, he's talking about God, you know, using the Bible, whatever, because he's a minister, right? But at the end, he says this. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Oh, if you notice my lashes popped up on the screen because it's a filter, obviously. First of all, amen is a close, it's not a gender thing, it's a closing to a prayer. And it, there's a Latin word, um, of what it means, um, it's Latin for so be it. It's not a gendered word. So dumb. And then also, okay, let's talk about some logic. Yeah, so we talk about religion. Like how is your religion uh, different? Like how is your religion better or different? People ask, so Christianity, why is your religion true? Why can't all gods, why can't all religions be true? Well, how can you tell me that mine's wrong, etc.? Well, we use the concept of logic. Not all faiths can be true. You're saying, Brittany, how? How is that possible? Well, like for example, in Islam, Islam, people, Muslims believe that Jesus, um, some believe that he never died and that he hopped off the cross and hopped off to, to India. So in Christianity, we believe that Jesus died and rose again. How can we serve the same God if Christianity's entire faith rests on Jesus Christ dying and rising again? But in Islam, just because they call him Allah, Allah does not make it the same God as Christianity if they believe that Jesus never died and that he was a great prophet. How can it be the same? Well, this supposed minister is talking about um, acknowledging different gods and how basically all gods are the same. In Hinduism, Brahma, uh, Brahma, I believe, I believe is how I say it, it's, uh, it's a god. But in Hinduism, and, and I understand because I went and spoke with a Hindu priest myself, they believe that all religions and all gods will lead to heaven one day. That all gods are the same. If we use logic at all, like I just told you, not all gods can be the same. Thinking, how, how is this? You guys, please don't be fooled. Please do not be fooled. When you hear stuff like this, thinking, oh, he must be a pastor. He must know. The Bible even talks about many people will come to him and when they go to heaven, when they die, when they not go to heaven, when they die, and say, God, God, but I preach your name. And he's like, depart from me. I never knew you. It actually says it in the Bible. The Bible also talks about false prophets. Any of us can become an ordained minister. We can preach whatever we want. That's why I want to encourage you guys. When you go, I go to church on Sunday, Brittany. I, I listen to the preacher. Yeah, but if you're not studying the word yourself, you never know what the preacher's actually saying, if it's even true. The preacher's not going to get you to heaven. His teachings aren't going to get you to heaven. It's going to be what will you believe. Jesus is going to say, that's cool. If you were to go to this guy's church, imagine what he's teaching. Golly. But for those who say, wait, 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 wait. The Bible doesn't say that. Not all God's are the right God. Why does Jesus say I'm the way, the truth, and the life? No one can get to the Father but me. Hmm? Or if you just have common sense, not all gods are the same. I want to encourage you guys to do your own research. Don't be lazy and don't believe nonsense like this. And we need to stop with the, I don't want to offend because gender, mm -mm. what did God say at the beginning? I made them male and female. Who is the author of confusion? Satan, there's no gender. Gender's not, mm, whatever you want it to be. Whatever you say. Who was good about that? Did God really say that? Hmm, the serpent. When at the beginning, Eve said, hey, we, we, God told us we can't eat from that tree of knowledge of good and evil, or we will surely die. But the serpent, before that, he was like, but did God really say, you won't surely die? God, do you see what Satan does? He makes you question makes you second guess and too many of us are wanting to be nice don't want to offend oh no okay there's many gods let's believe that stop with it you guys stop at the end of the day you're either for god or you're against him it's not well i'm gonna have the bible and just like pick and choose a little because you know i don't want to offend my neighbor over there who doesn't believe this i don't want to no, no no you don't have to offend you can be kind and strongly disagree because at the end of the day when we have to answer before God he's not gonna say oh so what did you believe you believe a little bit of that oh okay 
into the portal of the gates, whatever you want. No, he's going to be like, did you know my son? How did you live your life? Faith. Okay, so getting to heaven, well, not even just getting to heaven, but like having a relationship with Jesus Christ is believing that he died and rose again. He, you make him the Lord of your life. When you make God the Lord of your life, the way you live your life, the choices that you make, the things you do, it's going to be based on whether or not you're, you actually make Christ the Lord of your life. So many people say, well, Brittany, I believe Jesus died and rose again. Cool. And I live like hell through the week. If you really believe Jesus died and rose again, and that he was the Lord, you made him the Lord of your life, and he was Father God, <laughs> you'd be living your life very different, okay? Are we perfect? No. We've got to check ourselves, because so many times we say, oh, Lord, yeah, I believe Jesus, and living nothing like it. Come on, you guys. So that's what I just wanted to um, bring up today, and thank you guys for watching, and I will get on another live soon. Mm. Love ya. Bye.